What is going on YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Uh, sorry it's been so long since I made a video. Didn't really have much going on. But in today's video, we are going to be compression testing the vibe. Uh, so basically, uh, just a quick rundown of what a compression test is. An engine is basically an air pump. And uh, in order for the combustion to happen like it needs to, the chamber needs to be sealed. And a compression tester tests the health of the combustion chamber. So I got this kit off Amazon. Came with the hose, the fittings, and everything I'm going to need. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to pull the spark plugs, pull the coil packs, um, pull out the fuse for the uh, fuel pump, and then we're going to have my dad sit in the car and crank it over um, with this hose threaded into the hole. And we're going to have him crank it over and then right here you'll see the reading whenever this needle stops climbing that is what the compression of that cylinder is. Uh, you don't want any major variations in it. Uh, you can do this both wet and dry. Uh, wet meaning you pour a little bit of oil in there. Uh, that should raise compression but it gives you a better idea and I'll talk a little more about that based on what readings we get back. Um, I need to look up the spec but I think healthy around this engine is 130-ish to 150 or something like that. So without further ado, let's get into it. Also guys, I'm at my parents now, but real quick, just an update. I did get the tips back on the G8 exhaust, but I don't know, you can kind of see right there. It's not even fully connected, and the other side, the other side actually had to use two seals, and it still didn't seal enough because so much of the exhaust has rusted away. So I'm eventually just going to be getting a full new exhaust for this. Uh, headers back. Um, so that'll be in a future video too. There's the vibe. Still have yet to get the Lexus and the Vibe and the G8 all in the same place at once. But, someday. But, where the G8 is right now, I'm really happy with it. Stance on it's good, it rides really nice. I got everything taken care of, it just needs rear tires. So, I'm going to go inside, get all the tools, start getting this set up. And we'll do the compression test. Alright guys, so we got working on the Vibe and I have the compression tester set up. So basically what we got going on here is I removed all the coil packs and all the spark, well I didn't remove all the spark plugs, I removed, uh, I believe this is bank one spark plug uh, for cylinder one. And what we did is we got this threaded in, a uh, quick connect right here and an uh, adjustable thread base for uh, correct spark plug. And then what we did is we popped open the fuse box and as you can see right there it says EFI. So we pulled that fuse and what that does is it stops the fuel pump from actually pumping fuel into the cylinder because that's not needed. Alright, go ahead dad. Okay. So as you can see we went up to 200 PSI there. Alright guys, we got everything move over to cylinder two. Alright, go ahead. Okay. 200 again. Perfect. Alright guys, and here we go on cylinder number three. Go ahead. Okay. So that one looks a little bit higher at about 205, but that's within tolerance. 
All right, guys, and here we go. This is the last cylinder, cylinder number four. Go ahead. All right. So that one looks higher, probably about 220, 215. Uh, but given the other ones, I'm not too worried about it being just a little higher. What was it? All right, guys, so we just got done doing the compression test on all of the cylinders. The results were cylinder one was 195, cylinder two was at 200, cylinder three was at 205, and cylinder four was around 215. Uh, so basically what the instruction manual said that as long as there's a 10% uh, variation, then everything's okay. And 10% uh, of 200, which is what the compression should be, um, is uh, 20. So between cylinder one and cylinder four we have a 20 difference so everything's within spec uh, so basically all that means is the motor's healthy the piston rings are good uh, i'm not going to consume any oil head gaskets aren't bad block is good everything like that which i wanted to double check because i supercharged a uh, 2005 and up model so i had to use a piggyback ecu and then just a tune file from the previous owner so I mean the car runs pretty good and it feels good but you can never be too safe especially when it comes to tuning a boosted motor um, so yeah everything's good with it and what I mentioned earlier with the oil uh, basically if you're down on compression in one cylinder like it's just too low it's too different than the other cylinders things like that if you put oil in there basically what the oil does is it goes down and fills in all those microscopic gaps between the piston and if your compression goes back up to where it normally should be, that would mean that you have issues with your piston ring or your cylinder wall or something like that, which thankfully that's not the case here. Um, so just one last look at the vibe. I, I love how far this has come. I got to redo the brake calipers and just little things like that. But honestly, I think it's going to be ready for autocross this year without a doubt. I don't think I'm going to like gut the interior or anything. I like the full interior. Um, but after owning this vehicle for two years and driving it 60,000 miles, uh, or not 60, uh, 40,000, and I've had it about three, uh, it's pretty beat up and banged up, but I'm happy that it's doing good. It's healthy. I haven't had to replace anything major on it, really. I mean, the CV axle was the biggest repair I've done to it and that wasn't even that bad so if you guys found today's video helpful or you enjoyed it and you want to see more content like this let me know like comment subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one peace